Hi, this is Stan Fitzgerald with Veterans for America First and our partner channel, The Vet Voice. I'm here with Seagal Chatta, who is running for Attorney General out in Nevada. Seagal, can you please tell our viewers a little bit about your background? So a little bit about my background. I was born in Israel. I moved to Las Vegas when I was 14 years old. Um, essentially, other than a few years away in law school, I've been living in Las Vegas and uh, been practicing law for two decades. Um, mixed bag of criminal defense and white collar criminal defense and complex civil litigation, a lot of business cases, and um, decided to run for attorney general after the Nevada GOP approached me to do this. Um, I sued our governor and got places of worship reopened in the Ninth Circuit and just engaged in a series of lawsuits against them during COVID and the mandates and, you know, everything from school masks to vaccines to everything. So um, the Nevada GOP needed a Republican candidate against this attorney general who did nothing during COVID. Um, so they approached me. And I, I saw on your website that you have a lot of uh, high profile endorsements including Ken Paxton, the attorney general from Texas. And a couple of weeks ago, he recently had a huge victory in the uh, gender identity uh, rules that the Biden administration is imposing. Um, will you give us a pledge that you will also fight that in Nevada? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. One of the two pieces of legislation that I plan on introducing in Nevada, the attorney general has options to introduce pieces of legislation through BDRs. Um, is a Parents' Bill of Rights and Curriculum Transparency legislation. Um, I'm a huge advocate for children. I'm a mother. I have two teenagers. I always tell people that nobody's going to mess with Nevada's children when I'm Attorney General. And that, that is a very important uh, platform nationwide. And there you have it, folks. Um, I'm going to keep this one short because uh, she's out on the campaign trail and the election is very close. And uh, definitely America first. And we are announcing our endorsement of her campaign. She's an excellent candidate. And I'd like to um, encourage our entire veterans and first responders community across the country to go to our website and do what you can to help. Because if we don't have law and order in this country, we don't have a country. So can you please tell our viewers how to get to your website? Sure, Stan. Um, it's chattafornevada.com. And Stan, let me just reiterate that I'm endorsed by the largest law enforcement unions in the state of Nevada, the LVPPA and PSAN. Um, and along with that, Veterans in Politics in Nevada has also endorsed me. So it's great. Well, we appreciate you. And uh, we're going to be pulling for you from across the country. And I thank you for your time. I know you have early voting going on. And uh, we'll chat again soon after you win. Thank you so much, Dan. Have a wonderful Sunday. You too, my friend. Bye-bye.